In response to my video about the Chevron CEO talking about energy dominance, this person says, a lot of speculation from the peanut gallery that Chevron CEO is the best in the business. Chevron just bought Hess, so yes, there will be some layoffs. I'll put my money on Chevron. I think the part you're missing is that Chevron wasn't talking about U.S. energy dominance as much as they were talking about Chevron's energy dominance. You see, by the end of 2017, Chevron was producing 181,000 barrel of oil a day equivalent in the Permian Basin, up by 35% from 2016. Now, they're at a million barrels a day. A million barrels a day. So Chevron increased their production by over, well over 800,000 barrels of oil a day just in the Permian Basin between, 27, between the end of 2016, 2017, and now. What are they going to do now? They're going to sustain that production. They're, they're no longer increasing production. You see, what a lot of people don't realize about oil companies is they don't just produce the oil they produce. Because the majority of them own a piece of a lot of other wells that they don't even operate. And Chevron owns a piece of 20% of all the wells in the Permian Basin. So they didn't get that production increase just by drilling and completing their own wells. They also got it by owning the rights in thousands of other wells that were drilled and completed by other companies. A company operates a thousand wells. That doesn't mean they only have a thousand wells because they are likely to own a piece of thousands of other wells. See, for companies like Chevron, the life cycle of an asset like the Permian Basin is to invest as much money as possible into it into the early years. It costs a lot of money to drill and complete wells and build out infrastructure. That may be about the first 20% of the life of an asset. The next 80% is cashing checks and collecting your money from the oil you are producing. It is greatly reducing your drilling. It is greatly reducing your capital expenditures. That's where you make the money, on the back end. It's not going to help your gas prices. But hey, OPEC flooding the market will. Thanks.